morning, Sean from Tackle Tactics. Mate, what a morning. Full mist out as far as you can see. Green marker over there. So this morning, while everyone's getting lost because I can hear boats all over the place, we're just going to go work some edges. It's one of those sort of neat tides, high lows and low highs. So there's not much run and um, generally for me can be quite a tough tough fishing session so let's see how we go I'll run you through the techniques as I get onto them and yeah let's see what works quite a light colored plastic but I'm only gonna there we go ah damn it it was a bit wasn't quick enough on the, on the retrieve I reckon he's just tail grabbed that Nothing following it up. Right now. So yeah, as I was saying, you're going to put a four inch diesel minnow in a green lantern on a one eighth head with a three oak. So you can see it's about two meters. I'll just sort out my life for a second. Okay. It's a bit of sardine and pilchard never goes wrong. And the beauty of this sort of presentation is That matches the bait that I'm seeing up here pretty perfect. And it's a uh, silvery belly, green on top, a lot of fleck. The 1 8 means it doesn't drop super fast. And I can kind of just twitch it over the weed banks. So it's still light line, light leader. So it's quite a heavy, quite a big plastic for really light gear, but it casts really well. You can see. Now I can kind of just Instead of having to get that real fast retrieve, like you can see there we just drifted in. See how shallow this bank is here. We'll just get back out a bit. Not quite what I wanted. The tide got a hold of me. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is cast this around, try and keep it around this edge just like a daydreaming bait fish, basically. Hopefully, we get some attention out of it. I'm just giving it a little kick every now and then. Just to pop it up. The idea is I'm trying to hang it up in the water column a little bit more, a little bit longer. To give, you know, a flathead or something like that. Just time to look at it and go, yep, I want that. Rather than just ripping it straight past them. So, hopefully, this will start getting some attention. Yeah, right, that. Oh, how's that? You couldn't ask for a. I was almost on cue. How's it? How good is that? See, four inch diesel, lightly weighted. He's only. Probably just go legal. Ah, there we go. What's that? I don't know, he was, he's de definitely legal. Look at that. There you go. Four inch diesel, getting it done. Three air pinning nice, honestly. Can't go wrong with that. There you go, people. No run, no fun. Nice big plastic, light weighted head. And that's dinner if you wanted it. This one's going back though. Yeah, so we're back on that edge now. So really shallow just there, quite deep, about two meters deep on this edge. I'm just gonna come back out off it. Pretty much back to where we caught that fish. And we'll carry on. I don't know whether you can see, might be able to. You see how it's got what a slow presentation. Slow fall. Daydreaming bait fish presentation. So it doesn't have that real quick drive to the bottom and we don't need it today because there's not a lot of run in the tide and there's no wind we're battling or anything like that. So what you have to do with this presentation is be patient. So once you get to that drop, 
give it the time to actually make it to the bottom. <laughs> he came and ate that. Oh, are you kidding? <laughs> there you go. Solid brim. Four inch diesel. Look at that. He says, big brim won't hit big baits. Look at that. Now that's a respectable brim in, uh, in anyone's in anyone's um, opinion. And he had no problem getting that four inch plastic in. He came back and actually walled that a few times. So it goes to show this uh, this low, you know, um, neat tides, no run, no fun situation. Line your jig head, slow everything down, put a bit bigger presentation on and get them keen to, to hit it. Happy with that. Again, probably just mi I missed the, the take on that, but as soon as it hit the water, I was on. I think it's another broom actually. I'm like a broom. There you go. Not the solid broom. Go the diesel. Go the four inch diesel. problem hitting it, hook, uh, hooking up, it was probably 30 something centimetres, can't go wrong with that, happy days, 4 inch diesel, 1 8 jig head, how good's that? So what I'm going to do is actually have a bit of a, uh, bit of a wardrobe change, I'm liking the, the size of the presentation but this this fog's pretty overcast, so I'm actually going to change to something with a bit of UV in it. I'll show you. Purple Death is specifically a UV. It's got UV um, properties to it. So sometimes when the fish are, you know they're there, but they're not biting as well as they could be, switching to that might be the go. So I'm not going to change my jig weight. I'm happy with my jig weight, which is 1.8. Happy with the size of the plastic, all I'm changing now is the colour. So I'll give you a quick demo on how I tend to rig them up. You sort of get a guesstimate, and you can see that the my three air hook's gonna just sorry, three air hook's gonna come just out the back, so just make sure I don't run around while I'm doing it. Three in the middle, and then I'm gonna bring it out about there. Feed it on. And you can see come up short. So not many other pl other plastics can claim this but you can rig these a million times without breaking them. Z-Man are seriously the best toughest plastic. It's pretty close but I'm still not quite happy with how straight it is or it isn't. But of course I'll be showing you so let's get us back on course. Alright, a quick re-rig, that's not too bad, you can see, God, get it right, you can see it's nice and straight with the plastic, okay, the hook's protruding well, so you don't want the hook to be too close or too far up, so that's, that's a good distance, nice light jig head.
got some weight about it, whatever it is. Yeah, that's what we're chasing. I'm not quite prepared for it. Either the looks of it. Oh, it's got some size. I think it's a good flatty. Oh no! No! Oh no! Oh. So there you go folks. No run, no fun type tides. It's good to change up the plastic, change up your jig head. So like I said earlier, go from a heavier jig head to a bit lighter. Change, play around with your size of your presentation. So for me, when I do that, go to a 1/8 jig head, four inch diesel minnow, nice big paddle, slow presentation, drops nice and slow, got heaps of hang time in the weed or above the weed, and just gives those fish a chance to actually look at it, really commit and grab it. And those are slow bite times. So yeah, get out, give it a go. Um, I'm gonna head off and I'll see you on the next adventure.